right, so I'm gonna show you exactly how I got to this spot to get this beautiful view. It was a little dark this morning when I walked up here and uh, couldn't really film. So there's not really a official path here, but I'll show you where the trail connector is. Some beautiful skies this morning. Washington over there. that traffic that's route 16 right here goes all along the end of Scoggin, Saco River and all that hey everyone so I had the camera mounted on a uh, spruce tree at the top of this hill and Basically, I'm just doing a random day of grabbing some time-lapse shots or possibly some nice ASMR video. The sky is gorgeous. I know a few cool spots with river views. So, uh, stick with me and stay tuned. We'll see what happens. I'm still walking on the path to get back, but just another opening in the sky here. This frozen waterfall right up there. And that's absolutely cool. And I'm out here all alone, you know? I mean, this whole place, other than nature, it's just great. The only people I'll see out here are people that actually appreciate it. And that's always nice to see. So I'm back on uh, the beaten path. A few people have been through here a few days ago before the last snow. Still very much winter up here. It's about 20 degrees, 25 maybe out Fahrenheit. And here comes a trail marker. Some public restrooms, which are closed during the season, obviously. But that's all right. So Glen Boulder Trail. <sighs> Dyra. Tissima Trail, I said it wrong, I'm sure. Glen Boulder Trail, Davis Path. All basically in this direction, there's a marker up there, a yellow marker on the tree. Another day, another trail, but future adventures. So back to the car. This is all closed for the season, it's gated off. I had to park kind of far away. So normally you'd be able to park not far from this sign up here. So I'm going to leave it off right here and uh, just want to, you know, thank you very much if you're tuning in, if you're watching, subscribing, liking, commenting. All of those things are very appreciated. If you don't like it though, don't like it. What do you even do? Just that frozen waterfall again. Right above the sign. Cool. everyone. I just found this really cool bridge that I've lived here my whole life and never once crossed, so let's do it. This thing is moving. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't see it, but I can feel it. Wow, it is cool. Cool suspension bridge in the middle of northern New Hampshire at White Mountains. Very cool bridge.
goes off into a really cool path. And there's a view from the other side. Possibly a swimming hole down there. It looks like it's actually nice and smooth and a little bit of an eddy current. Summer's coming. So I'm here at the closed Echo Lake State Park in Conway. And now let's take a walk in and check out the beautiful view from Echo Lake. Everything's closed down right now. So that should make it more beautiful. Well, people are all doing their own thing. to come in hang out in the summer spring fall if you don't mind walking in the cold then the winter's good too and the view is great some places to grill picnic So this, that's actually a view of Cathedral Ledge, which some people actually rock climb. And uh, that's not me, but pretty amazing. So yes, Cathedral Ledge is over there. And uh, I'm sure it has a name. It's beautiful, whatever it is. I'm not gonna trust the ice. Late, well, it's actually April Fool's Day. It's gonna say late March, April Fool's Day. So I'm thinking that ice is absolutely not trustworthy. It's a really cool cutout right there. If I were a rock climber, I would want to get to that just to check it out. So yeah, Cathedral Ledge and Echo Lake State Park. to the car we go. in case the hike out of here in complete darkness but Stonehouse Pond is how I finished the day went up north to Mount Washington to begin sorry about the quiet weird voice too um, it's just so peaceful out here I don't feel like speaking too loudly thanks for uh, sticking with me for the day it's been fun